guys, thank you so much for coming in sa Quiz Talk. So, as of right now, we are, we've already figured out how we're gonna do this live. Yeah, so, <clears throat> Quiz Talk will always be on Sunday at 11 a.m. And yung time pala um, and date usually will change with whoever is a guest. So, kasi may mga guests tayo na available ng Saturday. And there's some na hindi available. So while we're here, let me welcome a very special person because she is our guest. Ayan, so let me bring in Versus. Yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? The Queen of the City has arrived. Ayan. <clears throat> so I'll just continue on. Nala. So what we're going to do is... Um, we're gonna go ahead and ask the questions na lang. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask questions and then you got this. Yeah, yeah, okay. 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 Shoot. So the next question talaga nila was, what was the hardest part of promoting your music? Okay. So the hardest part about promoting my music is knowing what my music is. Um, my music is not OPM style. I mean, I am a Filipino. I'm proud of being, being Filipino but it doesn't sound like an OPM song. Um, it, Cause for me, like I've always wanted to go to, do, to Hollywood and win the Grammys and all that stuff and, mm -hmm. and chart on the Billboard charts. And um, I always made sure that my sound is, is just like that. And, you know, coming here in a country where that's not yet like people aren't that in, uh, open about it, like people aren't uh, introduced to it. So my plan is I am, am, I am introducing my sound and my art to the market here while also finding some connections abroad. Because like, I really want to go to the US. I really want to strive in Hollywood yes. and the Grammys. Like, that's what I want to do all the time. That's what I've been saying, I want to win all the Grammy Awards, honestly. <laughs> the, the Academy, the Tony, the Emmy, that's what I fucking want. So, yeah. <laughs> and, um, of course. It was, and how can I promote myself like in a Filipino environment? And the answer is, I I don't know, because I'm still doing it. But so far, based on my experience, is that I'm really unapologetic about who I am. And I'm unapologetic about all the choices that I make. Because I found out that when you're just doing yourself, you're, you're, you're being you on the art scene. Yes. The more the people can uh, relate to you, the more the people can be like, oh, shit, she's different. Oh, shit, like what she does is really, really new. So why, why don't we check her out? So that's what I continue to do. Like, I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm a weird as fuck. I. I am wild. I don't fit <laughs> convention. Uh, and I don't really give a. I don't really give a crap. That's me. I'm the queen of the city. I'm the queen of the city. And the queen of the city will always be a standout. And that's like that's my personality. So why would I try to be? You know, try to act normal. What is normal for people? What is what is the definition of normal? I, I define my own normal, and my own normal is me making songs that I love, writing songs that I love. So, yeah. Yeah, of course. Siyempre, <clears throat> when it comes to music, na lumalabas yung video ko sa laptop. But when it comes yeah. to music, it does help. It does help to make yourself um, unapologetic. Yeah, yung hindi ka nag ano nag nag-iisip kung an, if it's good to them or do they like the sound. You know, a lot of people have their comments, but leave it at that. Never make it constructive. Yeah. You know. Because it depends, you, can't you know. Control your reputation. Like your, your reputation is beyond your control. So, like whatever they put, whatever the heck they want to do with it, they do it. <laughs> exactly. So, for the next question, this is Taya's question pala. Thank you, Taya, for giving us the questions. And then we have one more. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what are some of the basics that would aspiring musicians need to get a hold in the industry? So I guess to get an in in the industry. Um, okay, so uh, back in 2017, I attended an acting workshop because I graduated from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Uh, with a course of 
bachelor of arts in theater arts and a part of part of our lessons there is being introduced to the art world the art scene itself and um i attended this acting workshop and i was able to talk with an actress like miss uh hazel orencho um she directly worked with love diaz and she told me that the art world is is a big connection so it's important to connect with other people because when connection happens, art happens. So I feel like with musicians, you, you got to go out there. You got to meet other musicians. You got to, whoever they are, just meet them, meet friends with them and, and engage, converse with different topics and uh, share your art, listen to their art, support them. And that's how, that's how it really goes. You know, like that's how, that's how you become part of the music industry. It's when you're one with the uh, music industry itself. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that question. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I, I mean, when we talk about starting out or in, in the industry, it really depends on what industry you're talking about. Yeah. So we have indie, you have mainstream, you have your own genre. So. Yeah. And then you know separate open mics and groups yeah. collaborations so with that what industry do you want to go into yun talaga yung question eh kung gusto mo indie lang release your own music or go mainstream and um you know release popular music yeah. or sign with you know a label it's more like so whatever you want like that's yeah what yeah whatever you want to do I say that's what that's how freeing creating music is. Yeah. You know, it's it's everywhere. So, Latin tao they have cars and they have radios, and what comes out of radios? Music. Song. Music. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So our next question, pala, what are, you know, I'm gonna pick another one. Okay. So, what are the technical details that musicians need to know? And how do you make a career out of it in general? Okay, so um, you got to find yourself a good lawyer, honestly. <laughs> because, because there's like a lot of contracts here in the music industry. And you can't go on signing this and that because you, you, there might be a, a clause in, in the contract that you, that you sign. There might be a hidden part of the contract that you missed. So you need to get a good lawyer that has experience in the music world, or if not in the music world, like experience in business, because there's a, it, it's different to be a musician and a performer. And it's also a different world to be in the music business with executives talking about charts and um, demographics. It's, a, it's two different worlds, but they're, they're working in the same industry. So what, what would me like, I'm, I'm in the boat one. I'm like, in, I'm in boat there in the music, in the, in the, what I call this one, in the demographics one, like in the music biz and in here in the performing, because like, I, I don't know, like I think it's really natural for my personality. And I'm just really blessed and lucky that I was able to have that. Like I'm, I'm continuously learning, don't get me wrong. I'm still learning the ins and out, of, the ins and outs of the music industry. But yeah, get a good lawyer, talk to a lawyer, um, never sign contracts if, 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 you've got, if you've been given a contract, because like sometimes, uh, in contracts, if you sign it, there's like there's this clause where you can't get out of that for like two years, so or three years, and you don't want that to happen to you. You don't want to be stuck in a in a in a company that you can't grow. So before you sign, consult your lawyers. <laughs> yeah, and so tamayon. So you know we have to make sure that we are very in line with you know legal legalities. Exactly, very careful with legalities. <clears throat> lang, that, that's the reason why I, all, I only wanted to stay in indie. Like even now, I don't want sign or give one of my songs to someone. It's it's or not to someone to to a recording company or a label. I say I think the basis of who I am as a musician is with the people that appreciate. I say usually in indie, they appreciate the songs more. Yeah. Yeah. So they appreciate the songs more. It's not really, um, it's not really who you know when it comes to indie. It's more on what you do, uh, yeah. you know, how they appreciate you. 
So, yun yung pinaka main thing about indie is that it it turns to one of these things where it's a, it becomes a part of you and it becomes uh, who you will be when you continue on, have fans and, you know, future fans, I guess. And then, uh-huh. talagang, it's in, it's in the industry. Like, the, in the indie industry, na they will support you all the way. Yun yun talagang pinaka maganda sa indie. So, I wanted to stay there. And I want to stay there. So, the next question, uh, coming from me. So, naman, kasi since we're gonna end the live here, I'm so sorry, guys. So, sobrang, sobrang daming paikot-ikot natin kanina. So, I'm gonna end the live here. But we're gonna do a question for Sir Martin Muna. Yeah. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unmute, bro. And we're gonna do a questionnaire lang. Yeah. Okay. So yung question ko sa you, um, what do you feel like you've taken out of this um, live? So of this chat na asama natin si, you know, versus of, you know, versus. <laughs> So what do you think? What do you what what did you feel na you took out from it? Gusto ko sana talagang tanungin si Tia but I'm like running short on time. We uh, over now on a content. But um what do you feel that you took away from this? Yeah. Hindi. Um simple lang, na-inspire ako to do more. Kasi alam mo na itong quarantine kasi na to medyo nakaka-drain siya to be honest. Ito, napaka-scarce tapos may times pa na gaya na sinasabi mo kanina may mga doubts di ba pero knowing na may nakilala ko like you and our guest here sabi ko parang why not why not aspire for more di ba it got me inspired to at least yeah mm, may ano naman ako for, kung kahit pa ano meron ako may small foundation lang ano ka naman na eh may konting connections ka na ako yeah. I want to do more Cherry I, I feel I feel like I got the gist of what you're trying to say to the internet bro yung bandwidth is like really low right now but I got the gist of what he's he's going for and, uh, and, and I, I know Versus mm-hmm. understands this na I know it's it's all about the inner battles hindi siya yung ano eh hindi siya yung kung sino yung kasama mo or kung sino yung kausap mo or it, it, it for me as a person as a person in music it's really in here yun yung pinaka importante yeah. in here na uh, ipopush mo yung sarili mo para to strive yeah. for more to record music kasi ganun din nangyari sa akin recently I just started recording music so I pushed myself kasi sabi ko even though uh, in trade in uh, in career it's not you know I'm not a musician in career but you know, strive for more. Even though my mga kilala nga ako, I know some people in the in, in the industry na may mga anak na, the family na, but they're still making music, they're still recording, they're putting themselves out there because they know they're worth it. So yun yung pinaka importante is knowing that you're yourself, knowing yourself that you're worth it. You're worth the time. You're worth the listen. Yun yung pinaka importante. So we're gonna go on the next question. So this is gonna be for versus whatever you wanna ask Martin, my co-host. Sana nga si Teya yung inask natin. But, you know, we'll ask Martin what he wants to um, yeah. to know or what he is uh, yearning to learn or kung ano yung ano. We'll ask whatever question you'd like to. And I would love to add, like, with what you said. Um, you know, when you're an artist, art never stops. You know, even if there's a pandemic going on, you got to do everything that you got to do to make sure that you can provide, like, art. For, for your supporters and your listeners because even if the, the odds are stacked against you like the odds are really high why would you give a fuck about the odds you're the answer you're the solution you're you're unstoppable so go be unstoppable you got to believe in yourself you got to trust your intuition you got to trust your artistic views because if you can't believe in yourself who's going to believe in you so you have to believe in yourself all the time yeah that's it that's, that was like that's just an added. your question for them, for him. Yeah, if you have any questions, if, if that's possible. For who? For Martin? For Martin. Uh... Okay, so my question is, um, where do you see yourself? Um, where do you see yourself like a year from now? You know, a year or two years from now? 
Na choppy siya, it's... Lord. Ba't gano'n? <laughs> Nagdasal na. <laughs> okay. So, yung question, can you hear me? Okay, yes, but okay, but yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. Go, go, go. Yeah, like my que- my question was like, where do you see yourself a year from now? You know, a year from now. Yeah, yeah, a year from now. Actually, ako na ano eh, bira ako magplano. Sobrang spontaneous ko, bira ako talaga magplano. So. Uh, pondering upon the question. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, tapos na yung quarantine. All things are better now. Pagdating nung year na yun. Mm-hmm. And, nakagraduate na ako. Magsisend out na ako ng resume. Tapos, syempre, sideline ko yung music kung sakali. Tapos, ano pa ba? Basta more on, lagi ako nag-hope para maging okay na lahat. Hindi lang for me, para sa lahat. Of course, of course. Siyempre, hinuhope natin na lahat tayo eh, lahat tayo maging safe, di ba? Yun talaga importante. Kasi ang, ang pinaka ano dyan, uh, sabi nga ni Jack Ma, di ba? Um, he's the owner of Alibaba, kung alam mo. Um, sabi niya, you know, in this pandemic, yeah, you can plan, you can, you know, uh, do your thing, do, do whatever you want to do, but you can't do that when you're dead. So, I'm paraphrasing, pero alam mo yun, hindi hindi siya possible if you get sick, di ba? Or, you know, or you stuff die. happens. Or you or you die, you know, like, indefinitely die. Like, you know, yeah. canceled ka na indefinitely. I know, yeah. malakas ang canceled culture sa Philippines. So, <laughs> protect yourself. <laughs> ko lang na. Protect yourself. Always be healthy. Yan talaga yung importante. So, here we go. Um, since, thank you so much for everyone that came in. So, I'm gonna thank uh, each and every one of you guys. I'll thank you, Thea. For coming in to Quiz Talk. Thank you, Martin Palacio. So, si Martin pala, he is supposed to be my host. So, yeah, co-host ko siya. Yeah. So, co-host yeah. natin si Martin. So, next week, I'll have this all, like, figured out. Um, I might actually, like, go get yeah. another lap- <laughs> laptop for sure. So, yeah, just watch it. And again, thank you so much, Persis, for uh, the short notice na pumunta ka dito. No problem. Yeah, thank you so much. I know, the diba? So, bro- Sobrang nakakatuwa kasi na makita mo yung mga young artists striving. Uh, I mean, me, counting as a young artist. Uh, knowing where they came from. Parang, yun lang yung kulang eh. Someone to talk to you about. Alam mo, kaya ko to eh. Alam mo yun. Someone to talk to you about that. And, you know, throwing out all the negativity, diba? So, yun yeah. talaga yung ano. So, any closing remarks? Thanks. Special thanks promotions. Yan. I don't want promotion ka, for sure. Alam ko okay. meron. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, you can catch me in my tweets, in my other music uh, announcements at Versus Music 16 on Facebook and Versus Music 16 on Twitter. You can see my tweets there and you can catch my aesthetic and my daily life chronicling my daily life uh, in the music industry at Versus Official 16. And I have an EP coming out this September. It's a surprise we have an ep coming out in september under viva records and i hope that you like it it's a seven track ep that i single-handedly produced written arranged composed mixed recorded and sung so it's um everything like i, I hope that you listen to it i am doing all this i'm doing everything that i can to promote it i'm com- i am uh recording a lot of stuff that i'm gonna post in the following weeks uh, to the lead up to the release of the EP and I really hope to get some response from all of you about like a reaction from what the EP is and please share it to your friends and I hope that they get touched and uh yeah it, the EP is called Queen of the Night so uh Queen of the Night arriving soon yeah so the Queen has you know, I, I was gonna say has left the building but I need to open it. <laughs> But she has arrived. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you guys uh, listen to her um, her tracks. So yeah. it's gonna be on all platforms. Yeah, all platforms. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be on all platforms. Yeah. yeah. And so thank you so much, guys, for coming in to Kui Talk. This is you know Ino signing out. So salamat po for coming in, and we will see you guys later. The queen of the city bids farewell. <laughs>